What's going on guys? It's me Jiggly and I'm back with another Minecraft Mod Block Spotlight tutorial and today that is on the ME drive from AE2 or Applied Energistics 2 however you pronounce it <laughs> or know it as. Real quick guys down below let's go ahead and throw out some love to a featured subscriber within the community as well as a featured comment and as always guys I hope you learned something new and I hope you enjoy. Let's get into this. <laughs> Alright guys, as always, you know what we got to do. We got to know how to craft this guy, the ME drive. Alright, so simply, uh, let's go ahead and take a zoomed in look at it real quick as always. It's going to be four iron ingots on the corners, two ME glass cable fluics right there on the sides, left and right, and two engineering processors in the top and bottom middle row. And that right there is going to give you the ME drive. Now, you get a basic one like this. It's like, cool, it's like a server housing, essentially, for, for storage drives or hard drives like these. So this one is 64K, and as you know, it's connected to an ME controller with a terminal because unlike the ME chest that we saw in the other tutorial, if you've seen it, if not, go check it out, uh, there's no interface for the ME drive. I can't just grab it and look. You have to have a terminal access port or a chest, I guess, um, that's connected to your network. So you need some way, to, and of course with the ME chest recipe, it does take a terminal. So, uh, and unlike traditional, I've got the storage power just down below on this block. That's why, that's what's powering the ME controller. So you do need power. As you can see here, this ME drive is completely useless. Threw a couple drives in there just to showcase and show you. But with the storage core, you can, or with a terminal and an ME drive like this, we have so much space. It is ridiculous how much space we have. And of course, we can sort by items, auto box, uh, tall centered. We can do short. I mean, it's it's crazy, guys. So the ME drive, its biggest thing is it's like a server housing, uh, and you can have as many as you want. As long as they're connected by a cable, they'll all become powered. So watch this. Boom. That one's online. Um, let's go st storage. Let's add um, let's add 64Ks to each of them, just like that. Boom, that's online. Boom, that one's online. Because they're touching each other, and I connected them with a cable, these are all part of the uh, storage core now. So let's see. I'm sure it probably went to the, yeah, 5 of 63 types. So now there's nothing in it. So if I put this one over here, boom, like that, into 2. There it is, it's all part of it. So remember, it uses storage drives. You can use the 1K, 16K, 32K, or 64K drives with AE2, and I'll get into those in a future tutorial for you. Uh, but it's the housing structure, the ME drive storage block. It, it stores the storage drives, which gives you access to this ME network that has everything centrally located for us, which personally I find convenient. Other players might not. But I think it's so creative and so ability to just say, I want iron right here. Give me all my iron. Uh, so, again, um, what else can I tell you about it? It's it's stackable. You can go as tall as you want, uh, as low as you want. As long as they're touching, connected, or within a cable network. Which, again, cable and networks gets challenging in AE2 as well. But uh, we'll get into that in the future. If you, if you simply connect them all like this without a cable, they'll work it'll work so as always guys i hope this has been helpful i hope you've enjoyed i hope that uh, you'll share it with friends and family as always guys thank you so much for watching it means the world to me i couldn't do this without you so uh, leave me some comments leave me a like if you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in the next one as always take care check out some other videos on the channel and i'll see you in the next one goodbye <laughs>